Now there are a great number of kudos out there and attaboys for the people at Nissan Motor Company and other motor companies in the world who are embracing the electric car scenario. I saw my first electric car over 30 years ago in a magazine article while I was in industrial electronics uh, done by a man who just used conventional um, electric motors and conventional auto batteries, a bank where, of them where the motor used to be and then a motor on each wheel. Um, the neat thing about that truck, it was a Chevy Love truck, if I'm not mistaken, that was converted. The neat thing was that it could start and stop without any, you know, you could shift the gears without any from forward to reverse and no damage, no damage whatsoever because electric motors do that kind of thing. Mr. Fry Drychowski, my vocational electronics teacher, explained it to us at length. I think he may have even known the man because Fry was very uh, well connected with NASA and other electronics engineers. That's what he had been before he went into teaching people like me during uh, vocational electronics while I was in high school down in South Florida. Anyway, um, considering the fact that vehicles use only about 10% of the oil that's mined for energy, the rest being industrial uses, most notably the production of electricity, one cannot say that vehicles are the most polluting aspect of fossil fuels, not by a long shot. The one thing that definitely is never brought about is the fact that the vast majority of electricity is produced by fossil fuels and this is what will produce the energy to recharge these electric cars that are now being trumpeted daily uh, as the saviors of mankind. Believe me, none of those cars would be as non-polluting overall, cons with all things considered, as, let us say, a small diesel motor like in a Volkswagen Rab or something that ran on hemp seed oil or even peanut oil, but peanut oil is a food. You, you don't use food in, as fuels. That's number one rule if you're smart. Although it's obvious that the people behind energy in this world are not smart and they don't really care. A small uh, gasoline motor running on methanol, which is wood alcohol, is also extremely non-polluting with a, uh, an exhaust that's mostly moisture, you know. So these type of things, the government and the people behind the government uh, are not interested in pollution or the lack thereof. They're only interested in keeping the money coming to them. And that's the bottom line. You have to wake up and smell the gasoline. Uh, if if um, they owned the ability to control all fuels then perhaps and and then it was the most profitable thing for them to do then you could run cars small diesel motors on hemp seed oil and and that would be the way it would be they would laugh at the uh, polluting aspects and costs of fossil fuels but because they own and run fossil fuels and because such a large percentage of their world is based on their profits in fossil fuels, you'll never hear about the really efficient and most non-polluting methods of transportation or energy production.